Hello everyone and welcome to the series about IPython Notebook. Uh, this is the second part and it's about Markdown and Latex. Um, we'll be discussing how to uh, use Latex um, language um, to add uh, formatting to our text um, in uh, Markdown cells. So this is a Markdown cell. Um, we can add headers 1 to 6 by using the hashtag sign or the hash sign. Um, then our header, uh, we can do header 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have two styles of alternative uh, headings. Um, one by following the line with equal signs and the other by following the line with dash signs. The second thing um, is uh, font styles. We can have um, italic uh, by using asterisk or underscore and don't forget to close that with the same uh, character. You can have bold with a double asterisk or a double underscore and make sure you close it with the same uh, one. Uh, you can have um, a through line that looks like this uh, by using um, a tilde or a squiggly uh, using two tildes or two squigglies and make sure you close them. Um, lists, you can have uh, unnumbered and numbered lists by using either um, dash um, then uh, your um, items and if you render like this or you can use numbers then dot so number one, number two, uh, those are items. You can have sub items by adding a space and you can even uh, have um, even further sub items by adding two spaces or three spaces. And it will render it like this. Uh, links, you can just throw a link in any, um, in any markdown uh, cell and it will render it like this. Uh, you can have a word representing that link by adding the word between brackets and then the URL between parentheses. You can have a tooltip with your link by adding the tooltip uh, between double code inside the URL uh, parentheses. Images, you can uh, have images uh, with exclamation mark, then add any alternative text that you want to show instead of the image if it didn't load. Uh, then between parentheses you can have the URL to your image and if you want you can add a tooltip to the image like this. Codes. Um, you can uh, you can show codes within your markdown cells. Of course they will not render because it's a markdown cell. But they will not uh, execute, sorry, because it's a markdown cell. But it will highlight your code and um, um, you can do that by using triple um, uh, grave accent uh, symbols and uh, closing with the same. Uh, make sure you uh, name the language that um, you want the um, marking um, or the highlighting to uh, uh, apply to this code. So this is a Python script. I'm using Python in here. This is JavaScript. I'm using JavaScript. So it will always highlight my code accordingly. Um, tables, you can have uh, tables with um, this code. Um, quotes, uh, you can have quotes with um, a larger than symbol, the beginning of your line, and you can, uh, sorry, and you can even insert um, um, more styling inside your quote like this. I'm using double header in here, and I'm using italic, and it will render like this. HTML, this is the second thing we can add. Um, we can just throw any HTML code in there and it will render just fine. Horizontal lines, you can have horizontal lines with dashes, asterisk, or triple underscore. In triple of, um, triple underscores, or triple asterisk, or triple uh, dashes. Unicode, Unicode is, um, um, you can throw in any Unicode characters and they will render if they are available in the um, font of the browser that uh, your user is using. But um, most commonly you will get those uh, codes and you will get a lot of other uh, symbols that you um, might need in your notebook. Uh, Markdown can has uh, also Latex. Latex is a um, scripting language or um, 
uh, a language to represent mathematical equations so um, we can um, add mathematical equations within our um, notebooks using um, uh, latex uh, language if we can have uh, inline blocks like this so we add dollar sign then we close with the dollar sign and it's wearing there like this in line so it's within the same line or we can have block um, block uh, formulas with double um, dollar sign and closing with double dollar sign you can see that this rendered as a block and this rendered in line sometimes um, for some formulas you have to render block formulas because um, few codes will not render in line um, Greek letters, all 24 Greek letters are available those are the most common uh, you can have uh, alpha um, by um, backslash alpha or capital A for the two forms of alpha same with beta, gamma, pi, phi, uh, etc um, basic operations, you want to be able to have uh, plus, negative, times in two formats and division in a fraction or by the division sign. And this is how you do that. Um, plus and minus, that's easy. Uh, you can have 5x, which is 5 times x, or 5 or x backslash times, which shows this symbol. Then 5. You can have a fraction for a division. That's how we do it, um, backslash frac, then you add your two numbers between curly brackets, uh, or you can have, um, have it show the division sign by using this code, backslash div. Power and an index, uh, they're very similar, uh, you can have like y to the n equals x to the m minus x uh, to the m minus 1, this is how you do that y underscore n is y to the n equals x uh, underscore n that's x to the n minus x underscore um, n minus 1 between curly brackets whenever you have more than one letter like here n only you have to use curly brackets to enclose whatever you want to show as an index it's the same thing for power but you replace the underscore with a caret symbol and it's the same for more than one letter. You have to close it within um, curly brackets. Fraction types. Uh, most of the times you will be using frac, then uh, whatever you want to add between curly brackets. But sometimes uh, you will need to create something like this, like a simple fraction. And that's how you do that. You use a caret one that will push the one up, then an underscore two that will push the two lower and just um, a forward slash between them um, that's how you um, can um, generate those uh, two types of uh, fractions uh, roots um, you can have any uh, root by adding um, backslash sqrt short for square root uh, you can enclose within the curly brackets of that root anything else in here I'm enclosing a uh, backslash frac which is a fraction of 1 over 3 so this is how it renders the second one um, I'm changing the level of the root to 3 so that's uh, the third root of uh, 2 times x and uh, you can have any level for your root by um, adding that level between the brackets sums and integrals um, you can um, add sum uh, like this uh, backslash sum and it will generate this beautiful sigma symbol um, limits that's how you add uh, the lower and higher limits of your um, uh, sum um, you can format that by uh, backslash limits then underscore for uh, lower limit then caret for your higher limit then uh, whatever you want to add after the sigma uh, this is an uh, integration um, backslash int then limits uh, or sometimes you will see it formatted like this and this is how you format uh, an integration um, where the lower and higher limits show almost next to the integration not 
uh, direct to on top or, or lower and this is how you do it, you just remove the backslash limits uh, this lesson is uh, available uh, open source on uh, github and it's viewable on um, MB Viewer. the link to this uh, document uh, is available in the description uh, below and you can use that for reference uh, while you're doing any markdown or latex uh, work uh, thank you for watching and I hope if you like that you will subscribe and watch the third part of this um, uh, series and it's about uh, basic Python. Thank you.